All right, hello everybody. I want to be able to show you what I believe you're going to see on RenWeb uh, during our distance learning. So my RenWeb looks different from yours, um, but I think yours might look something like this. And I'm on a desktop, obviously not on your phone. So um, I'm looking at geometry class, and this is the home page. I've added some contact links. If you click on that, you're going to get all of the links, um, and you can copy and paste those. Okay, my WeChat ID, I have a new Google Voice number, so there's the number you can call or text me, um, and all the other things that I've set up for us to communicate with. Okay, the other thing is um, my YouTube video that I did to welcome you to distance learning. I put that there. It initially was hidden and could not be found um, if you search me on YouTube, but it is now public. So if you find me on YouTube, you'll see that video as well. If you scroll down, you'll see a calendar. Um, the calendar so far has just um, breaks on it and last day of school. Uh, I will update that as we go along. For example, we have a quiz um, on the 4th, and I'll add that to the calendar. I believe it's the 4th. Just kidding. The 2nd. Thursday, the 2nd. Um, and the honors will take a, the quiz on the 2nd and on the 3rd. So I'll add those to the calendar so you'll see those. All right. So always look at the home page just to make sure you know what's going on. Then I would recommend, uh, let me show you resources. Resources is our original syllabus. And then again, links to the places where um, we can hang out. So Google Voice, you just need to call that number. Don't click it. Uh, but Instagram, our blog, Quizlet homepage, and YouTube. I recommend that you go to lesson plan before you do homework. The way I have in web set up is you click on the lesson plan. We're looking at the week of 3.30 because nothing starts before that. And I've tried to put the weekly objectives on Monday. So here are the things so far, and this is a work in progress that so may change. Um, but here are the things so far that we're going to do the week of 329. Uh, so something in Desmos, and there's the link you can click. Here's the link to the Circles Quizlet because of our vocab quiz on Thursday. We're going to learn about central angles and arc measures. We're going to practice parts of the circle, etc., in IXL. And then here are the two honors assignments. Now I've numbered these in a way that I believe you should do them uh, together. So. I'm not assigning more than 45 minutes per day. Um, so if you're doing daily work, I would say this is Monday, number one, do the Desmos activity and then study circles and Quizlet. That's number one, Monday. Tuesday, we're gonna learn about central angles and arc measures and you'll see in the homework section, that's gonna be a video. So that'll be Tuesday. Wednesday, we'll be practicing in IXL. And then Thursday will be the test. Now for honors, um, you need to just do the work as you need to do the work to be prepared for whatever honors quiz or assignment we have. Okay, so that's all in the Monday section. That's just the Monday section. But then in Tuesday, you're gonna see, see Monday. Wednesday, see Monday. Um, note, for this particular week, all of your homework is gonna be due Wednesday by 10 p.m. or a late penalty will apply. Then on Thursday is our quiz. So see Monday for the lesson plan, but the quiz will be due at 8 p.m. And our quizzes will be in Google Forms. So you'll have time to do that anytime um, as of Thursday morning uh, and submit it by 8 p.m. on Thursday evening. Uh, and then Friday, the honors folks will do a second quiz. You'll do the first one and you'll do the honors quiz. Uh, that's due at 8 p.m. as well. We'll also start the review, um, introduction rather, to cosine, our third trigonometric function. So we'll review tangent and sine, just to recall, and then we'll do cosine, all right? So that is a week of lesson planning, okay? That's what I put in as the lesson plan. Now, if you go to homework, 
and scroll, you'll see again, the homework is due by Wednesday 4-1 by 10 p.m. Central. And here's your homework. In the Desmos activity, there are questions. There are four questions. And you're gonna fill them out, the answers to the questions on this Google form that's linked right here. You should also play the Quizlet match game for about 15 minutes. The match game will show me how quickly you're matching things and if you beat my score. And I've got those again, numbered 1.1, 1.2. If you're doing uh, math every single day, all five days, then those would be things you do on Monday. On Tuesday, you're gonna watch a YouTube lecture, and I haven't done that link yet. Uh, on Wednesday, you need to do IXL. That's 10 minutes each, so that's about 30 minutes. So I've got up to 45 minutes a day that I'm gonna give you. Most days, it's only gonna be 30. Um, and then again, honors, you have homework, but you need to do that according to the pacing that you need to do it for your assignments. Then on Tuesday, Wednesday, you're gonna see, see Monday. All homework is due Wednesday by 10 p.m. Central. On Thursday, we're doing the vocab quiz. Again, that'll be sent to you in the morning and you'll uh, complete it by 8 p.m. And same for honors, but we'll also be doing a YouTube lecture, have not done that yet, on cosine. So this is what you should see in RINWEB and this is populated right now. It is not complete right now. Obviously there are links that have not been done um, and I've only got um, three days worth of homework. Studying for the quiz would be Thursday, but I haven't put in the, the Friday lesson plan or homework yet. So make sure that you're looking at lesson plan to get the full sense of what we're doing. And there will be links there. And then go back and look at homework to see what you're turning in. Now, you are being graded on this homework. So when you answer these questions in the Google form, it's gonna come back to me and I'm gonna grade it as a homework grade. We need to have homework grades in the system. I don't want your grade to be completely based on quizzes and tests in the fourth quarter. So you will have homework um, in most cases in a Google form. Uh, if I can't do it in a Google form, I'll ask you to take a picture of the problem that you've worked and email it to me um, or upload it somewhere. We'll figure that out. But for now, make, make sure that you understand the homework that you're doing is being graded. Here's IXLs, those are being graded. I'm gonna put them in as separate grades. So again, we will need to have many, many homework grades um, just as much as we've had in the past, all right? So I wanted to make sure that you could see that. Now, I'm gonna switch over and share with you a Word document that I'm also working on um, here. Take me a second to switch over. I will also, every two weeks, be sending a document like this out to you. This will explain to you, if you, for some reason, can't get to RedWeb or you're not seeing things on RedWeb, this will tell you what we're going to copy, co copy, cover, for those two weeks, some example problems, some basic information, about what we're covering, okay? Things that I'll be talking about on the videos. Honors will have their own section. And then on the second page, we've got all the contact information again. I can't put this out enough. So everything I put out, you're gonna have contact information on. But then you're gonna see a calendar. So here's week one. 3.30 through Wednesday here, even through Thursday, here are all the things that you need to do. And then here's all the homework you need to do. And I will try to add um, like how long I expect each of these activities to take. Because again, I won't go over 45, I'll usually stick to 30 minutes, but I also need to know if you are taking more than 45 minutes to do this work. And you should be telling your any teacher if you're spending more than four hours a week, four hours a week per subject. You need to tell that teacher that it's taking you longer than four hours a week. So if in history you're reading and then you're writing a response of some, of some sort, um, English, ethics, whatever it is that you're taking, 
by subject should not take you more than four hours a week. So it's a good idea to record, jot down, you know, I did math for 45 minutes today. I did it for 30 minutes yesterday. I did history for 30 minutes yesterday. Keep track of it to know how much time you're spending because if you're spending too much time, you need to contact your teacher. Um, and definitely, if everybody's contacting your teacher, your teacher will adjust. If you're having trouble because it's distance learning, then your teacher may put something in place just for you or may set up um, a video chat or a conference call or something just with you to work through whatever issues you're having. So make sure you report that to me as well as to any other teacher. All right. So for the Word document, all of this will be populated with all of the links that you need, as well as some estimated times as to how much time you should be taking on each one of these. So again, not quite done with this. Um, scrolling down then we'll have the second week. And remember that we are taking Easter break. Even though we're distance learning, we are taking Easter break. You will have no class on Friday or Monday of Easter weekend. All right, so the Word document, is if you can't get to RenWeb, they match exactly. I'm updating them completely the same way, all right? Um, and if you can't get to RenWeb or you're not seeing this in RenWeb, I need to, you to let me know so I can try to figure out what the problem is. Again, resources, the resources tab has all of the links for you to contact me, leave comments in those places. You can leave comments on Instagram, on the blog, um, and on YouTube. I fixed YouTube so you can leave comments there. Um, the syllabus doesn't show up here. It's in the resources tab as a document, right? Um, and I may also upload other documents here. It's possible that I'll do a one-page homework sheet that you'll then take a picture of and email back to me once you've worked out the problems. Math does not lend itself to Google Forms very well. You can answer a question for history or English or uh, foreign language uh, in Google Forms, but for math, you're gonna have to draw things out and label them. So you may be uploading pictures uh, somewhere. So uh, make sure that you play around in here uh, and that you can see it. You may have to use a laptop or a, a computer rather than a device to see everything. Um, but if you are having trouble, the Word document will also help you out. And I'll be uploading that um, in the documents area. So and under resources and documents, you'll see this. And the documents are timed. So because we're in right now this week of 3.30, then only the things that apply to the week of 3.30 would be shown here. The syllabus is set up so that it's um, showing for the entire year, but we would only see things that apply to the week of 3.30 right here, okay? So I hope this video has been helpful. If you're not able to see these things in RenWeb, know that you'll have a Word document, but do let me know that you can't access RenWeb. Um, and definitely if you don't have access to the internet, well, then I don't know how you're seeing this, but if you don't have consistent access to the internet, this is gonna be hard for you. Um, and I need to know as soon as possible, um, if you do not have access, consistent access to the internet that you can get to every day in order to do your work. Thanks everybody for watching and have a great day.